uh, I'm Yoshio Yamaoka uh, from the Oita University and the Faculty of Medicine. And uh, uh, we are now starting uh, to study about uh, Helicobacter pylori and the gastric cancer. Especially our uh, the final goal is uh, to decrease the incidence of gastric cancer. And as you know, the, especially the gastric cancer is very high in East Asian countries. And in Japan, we have the, some good system for the health, for example, the health insurance system to check the, some screening for the endoscopy. And so that's why the current trees are also the, because of the eradication therapy, the incidence of gastric cancer is decreasing. However, in East Asian countries, and such as uh, all, uh, any other than Japan, also the Southeast Asian countries, and uh, especially now we are very interested in the Bhutan. Now, this is a small country in the near Himalaya. It's only the uh, it's a very small population of the peoples. However, the around 80-90% are infected, and uh, also the bacteria are very strong. So, uh, in the following slide, uh, we are to uh, explain to everybody about the uh, Helicobacter, especially for some of the very academic, uh, the Helicobacter pylori virulence factors and the uh, gastric cancer. Okay, so today I would like to talk about the Helicobacter virulence and gastric cancer pathogenesis. And, uh, Helicobacter pylori, this is a gram-negative bacteria uh, living only in the stomach, discovered in 1983 by Warren Marshall, and now uh, this is a class 1 carcinogen. And this is a very famous study in 2001. As you can see, the, if the H. pylori negative patient uh, followed for 10 years, no one became gastric cancer. However, if H. pylori positive cases uh, follow without treatment for 10 years, around several percent became gastric cancer. And so that's why the no H. pylori near equal, not identical, however, near equal, no gastric cancer. This is another very famous study, and this is an instance of secondary gastric cancer after. Uh, uh, mucosal rejection by endoscopy. Uh, as you can see, the, if the, after the uh, cur uh, currently the early gastric cancer uh, can be removed using the endoscopical uh, treatment, and uh, after that, if they eradicated, after three years, around the several percent became gastric cancer. However, if the uh, non-treatment around 12 percent became gastric cancer. It means the uh, incidence of gastric cancer in the secondary gastric cancer is reduced uh, around the one third. But of course, please remember, uh, even if eradicated, uh, this uh, patient of the uh, high risk patient, it means that uh, any the initially this patient became a gastric cancer. So once became a gastric cancer, even uh, after treatment and eradicated, of course, several percent became cancer in the uh, other uh, region. So this is very important uh, to follow up. And this is a prevalence of gastric cancer worst ten country. As you can see, the uh, worst one is South Korea and Mongolia, uh, Japan, uh, China, and then this is two uh, two thousand eight. And in 2012, again, the still the South Korea, Mongolia, and Japan were the worst three. So it means that most of the gastric cancer is derived from uh, East Asia. So uh, maybe we are very interested in why the gastric cancer is very high in East Asia. So we are focusing on the bacterial factor. And this is my review in 2000. So mechanism of uh, disease, H. pylori, virulence factors. As you can see, the Kage, Bakwe, Oipe, and Dape is uh, the, uh, the virulence factors, and uh, especially the <coughs> Oipe and Dape, our group had find. However, 
Uh, today we have not so many times, so we focus on the CAG gate. This will be very famous. And as you can see, the H. pylori cannot go into the cell. Only the H. pylori can attach to the cell surface. And then using the type 4 secretion system, the CAG gate, the H. pylori factor, go into the cell. Uh, this type of secretion system looks like the, some uh, needle and then the calgae is uh, inside to the cell and then calgae is phosphorylated and the ship 2 one of the oncogene, bind to the calgae and then the, disturb the cellular signaling and then became a gastric cancer. This is a current consensus. And as you can see, there, this structure of the Kage is a very different uh, between the East Asian type Kage and the Western type Kage. Uh, and especially the, this D or C region, uh, this part is uh, phosphorylated and the SHIP2 is binding. But the binding ability to SHIP2 is much higher in East Asian Kage compared to Western type Kage. So please remember that ABD, D is stronger than C. And then, as you can see, the, in East Asian countries, of course, uh, most of the strains are East Asian type KG, and the incidence of gastric cancer is high. In comparison, for example, in uh, Africa, there are some of them are Western type or also the KG negative strain, so that's why the instance of gastric cancer is low. And uh, even in Japan, interestingly, in Okinawa, the South Island, uh, is an instance of, this is a mortality, but anyways, a mortality or instance of gastric cancer in Okinawa is very low, uh, both in male and female. And then we check the bacteria in Okinawa. And as you can see, in Okinawa, uh, around 30% of the bacteria possessed uh, either Western type or Kage negative type. In contrast, in, in Tokyo and Sapporo, of course in Japan, the, all strains are East Asian type Kage. However, uh, somewhat interestingly, even in Okinawa, uh, if the, in, the, in the case of gastric cancer, most of the strains are with East Asian type. But in comparison, uh, duodenal the ulcer, this is the opposite spectrum of gastric cancer, is around 60% are East Asia, but however, as a as Western type, or negative. And also, even in East Asian type, uh, some strain have the repeat region. Uh, this is our, uh, our previous study. Uh, most of the strain are ABD, however, some of the strain have the AB, AB, AB A prime D. This B prime is uh, similar to uh, similar to D. And then in, in previous study in Kyoto, uh, we found uh, this kind of a special repeat strain in six cases. But interesting is that all the six cases are from gastric cancer. So it means even in East Asian strains, uh, if the repeat, repeat is uh, occurred, the, uh, its uh, toxicity will be increased. And then, uh, again, the destroyed, however, to tell the truth, uh, in Middle or uh, South uh, American countries, like the Jamaica, Colombia, Costa Rica, it's also the instance of gastric cancer is high, very similar to Vietnam, for example, the 29 or 23 or 24, it's a, uh, almost a similar to Vietnam. Then, in our previous study, we checked the, even the East Western type strains. For example, in, uh, in the United States, most of the strains are not only the one repeated is A, B, C, uh, only the one C. But in comparison, in the Colombia, this is a very small number. However, there are more than 50% are she, she, so it means a repeat. Uh, currently, the number of the uh, 
uh, we, we study the more number however the, it's the same tendency so even in uh, western countries western countries and even the western type kage if the number of repeat is uh, uh, multiple the incidence of gastric cancer is high so it means a uh, geographic difference in disease prevalence might be explained in part difference of number of APYR this repeat region even among western countries and so the about the virulence so ABD is very stronger than ABC however if the number of repeat is a 2 for the ABC C probably is similar to ABD however in the, in the uh, East Asian countries if the number of repeat is increased uh, it's become uh, also the virulence uh, so in the gene bank data, around 85% of the East Asian type strain have ABD. Uh, so that it's higher compared to the typical Western type. And 63% of the strain in the, uh, deposited in the gene bank is ABC. Then so we are actually interested in the, the country in Bhutan. As you can see, the incidence of gastric cancer is high. However, the total number of gastric cancer is only 114. This means that if the cancer number is increased twice, it immediately becomes the worst one. And also, that I heard from the Bhutanese doctors that in Bhutan there is no and almost no one old endoscopy system. So that's why. And uh, we are not sure that this number, so that tries our, uh, we, we are very interested in this country. As you may know, the uh, Bhutan is uh, uh, between the uh, China and uh, India, it's a uh, very small country in Himalaya. And then, so we have the first trial in the 2010 with uh, Thai doctors. Uh, because uh, there is no endoscopy system in Bhutan, so we brought the, all the endoscopy system from Japan or Thailand. And then we set up the uh, endoscopy system in Bhutan. Uh, it's a capital city in Chimpu. And then, so uh, we did an endoscopy for the uh, almost one day, 100 people. So almost overnight we do the endoscopy and as a result uh, even the very young generation around the 80 percent are h pyruvate positive this is very different from japan uh, it means uh, even the uh, young generation and also older generation always h pyruvate is infected for example in japan the is a 20 less than 29 years old currently only the 10 or uh, 10 or 20 percent are positive and then gradually increased however in here uh, it's already uh, infected so it means that uh, we, we must eradicate the H. pylori in this country and more uh, surprisingly and importantly uh, we have the good data for the 372 patients and uh, five patients had advanced cancer. And also there, there is a lot of uh, gastric or duodenal ulcer. So of course this has a bias. Uh, we, we recruited a volunteer, however, uh, they didn't know uh, endoscopy. And then uh, we had an advertisement that uh, we had endoscopy from the Thai or Japanese doctor. So probably the people with a discomfort or some stomach ache came to the hospital. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, one percent of uh, gastric cancer is amazingly high. And then we check the bacteria in Bhutan. It's uh, as we ex expected. Uh, it's East Asian type calgates. Uh, as you can see the picture of the face, they are, it's really the East Asian type uh, calgate. And but uh, how, what a very in, uh, surprising or interestingly, uh, most of the strain, as you can see, mo not most, any the more than fifty percent of the strain have the multiple repeat. Uh, in my previous slide, uh, in Japan we found only six 
patient with a disc type of the strains, but all the these six patients are from gastric cancer. So it means in Bhutan, probably the incidence of gastric cancer is very, very high. Uh, so uh, then the next interesting country is our Mongolia. Uh, again, this is a number is a very high, but uh, uh, instance of high, but the total number is only the 600. Uh, and then we also had uh, some survey in Mongolia. It's, we had a uh, three uh, hospital in, in the capital city, and uh, 221 patients were recruited in this study. And then we did a uh, uh, CRO test and culture and body and histology and immunohistochemistry. And uh, this is as, as a result, again similar to Bhutan. Even that uh, very young generation already is a 60, 70, 80 percent are infected. It's a really is a similar pattern of food. And then we also uh, culture the H. pylori and get the DNA. And then whether East Asian type or Western type, please remember again, East Asian type is a ABD or something, and Western type is ABC. And then, somewhat surprisingly, uh, there is a 20, around 20 percent H. pari even carry a negative strain. So it's not so strong. For example, in Japan, or, or even in Bhutan, almost 100 percent are carry positive. But, but in Mongolia, around 20 percent are negative. And more surprisingly, we found that uh, most of the strains in Mongolia have the Western type. Only the two strains have the so-called East Asian type. And so uh, in Mongolia, the high prevalence is the same as Bhutan. Uh, and the Kage positive cases are more virulent than Kage negative. However, uh, most Kage general type were Western type. And then, uh, this is a Mongolia, its uh, prevalence H. pari is very high, gastric cancer is also very, very high. However, a Calgary type is a so-called weak type. In Bhutan, it's a prevalence high, gastric cancer is high, and uh, East Asian. So this is a very typical, uh, similar to the consensus. And in Myanmar, uh, prevalence is also high, and the cancer is uh, uh, moderate and the western type. But when we check the histology of the stomach, as a result, in Bhutan, it's really the inflammation atrophy, everything that's severe, uh, as like Japan. But in Mongolia, it's a western type, so the moderate, it's a, uh, inflammation is not so stronger uh, compared to Bhutan. Uh, so currently, uh, for example, in Bhutan, Japan, Korea, it's an East Asian type Kage, that's why the severe inflammation and atrophy, and then uh, high risk of gastric cancer. So this is very reasonable, and the Myanmar or Western countries, Western type Kage, or even Kage negative, so that's why the Western, uh, weak or moderate inflammation and atrophy, so the uh, low risk of gastric cancer. So this is a uh, uh, current consensus, however, in Mongolia, somewhat interesting is the Western type or even Kage negative, so that's why the inflammation atrophy is weak. However, high risk of gastric cancer. So uh, there is many possibility, but uh, uh, probably the not only the bacterial factor, probably the environmental factors. However, we only focus on the Kage, one of the virulence factors. Probably the other virulence factor is very toxic in Mongolia. And so the uh, geograph uh, overall the geographic difference in gastric cancer might be explained by difference among H. pylori, uh, especially on, even using the only the Kage genotype. Uh, however, uh, our data in Mongolia, uh, although it is true that the Kage genotype are related to inflammation atrophy. So if the Kage is a Western type, it's an inflammation atrophy is low. However, the uh, incidence of gastric cancer is high. It means many unknown factors 
are also involved in the development of gastric cancer. So currently this is a cons uh, our recent data, so especially is uh, Mongolia and also Bhutan, uh, both country in the Asian country has a, a lot of uh, HPV infection uh, and also the uh, uh, incidence of gastric cancer is very high. Uh, so the, now the, our group have, should be focused, should focus on the these two countries, but uh, Mongolia is a very wide, very huge country, so somewhat difficult to uh, make the survey. Uh, so uh, we are now uh, focusing on the Bhutan. This is also the uh, very high gastric cancer countries, and the uh, bacteria is very virulent, and also the even the young generation. Most of the people are infected, so uh, our and is our initial focus is uh, uh, try to decrease the incidence of gastric cancer, prevalence of H. pylori in the near future in Bhutan. Thank you very much. <laughs>